which of the following functions is quadratic? So this is a hard example, okay? Now, one thing I want to recall is just what the standard form of a quadratic function looks like, right? The standard form has some leading coefficient of a multiplied then by x squared plus some coefficient of b, all right, multiplied then by x plus some coefficient of c. Now, what's most important here is that you have the x squared term, all right? These two terms kind of don't have to be there. But what you must have is you must have at least x squared and no more than x squared, all right, in your function. So we can kind of use that then as a guide uh, to try and identify which of the following might be quadratic, okay? Now, one other important thing is that you cannot have, you cannot have any negative uh, powers, all right, of x. So you cannot have you cannot have anything that looks like x to the minus one, or x to the minus two, or anything like that. All right, that would invalidate the quadratic function. So the first thing I notice is my first choice. Now here, I really like what I see. I like that I have an x squared term. That's cool. Okay. Now I also have x squared here, but that is very very curious. It's in the denominator now. Right? There's no fractions here. Now, not, not that you can't have a fraction. You can actually, the coefficients can be fractional. That's fine. The coefficients can be. But you really don't want fractional values in your, uh, for your variables. And the reason for that is, is this. If I were to look at 1 divided by x squared, okay, let me make that a little bit neater. 1 divided by x squared. I could rewrite this to be, I can flip this fraction basically. And if I flip the fraction, I have to flip the signs of my exponents. That's one of the tricks. So I can have then x to the minus 2 over 1. Now, if it's over 1, I don't really even need the 1 on the, in the denominator, right? So I can just have this. So basically, when you look at 1 divided by x squared, this term really is x to the minus 2, all right? If I were to reorganize it and put it kind of in the numerator. So if I had to rewrite that function, I could do it this way, 2x squared plus x to the minus 2. They're actually the same thing. Now, that invalidates the quadratic function. I cannot have any variable raised to a negative power. All right? So that choice is out. Next, I like what I see here. I have an x squared. I have an x. And then, oh, well, I have x in the, in the denominator. Ugh. Right, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. This actually works out to be, if I were to look at 4 divided by x, that is the same thing as saying 4 times x to the minus 1. Recall that x is down here in the denominator, and that has a power of 1. So if I bring it up into the numerator as a multiplicative result, or as a multiplied result, I have to flip the sign of that exponent. So it would be 4 times negative x1, and that's a problem. Right, we just spoke about the fact that you cannot have any variable of x being negative. And in here I have the opportunity for a negative. I know you might say, well, it's not negative right now. And I agree with you. It's not negative right now. But you cannot, if, if you have the opportunity to take any variable here for, in this case it's x, and put it in the numerator and make it negative, that invalidates the quadratic function. When we look at the standard form, these are all basically in the numerator. Okay? so. You know, in this example, and I could, I just thought of a really hard problem, I could, a really interesting problem that I could make. Um, but the fact is that all of these exponents of the variables are positive, okay, when they're kind of in the numerator. So that invalidates choice number two. Looking at choice number three, I really do like what I see right now, right? I have an x squared that's positive. I have an x term that's positive also, meaning to the first power. And then I have a non-x term. Actually, if I were to just reorganize this, right, if I were to just reorganize it and I'll write it right underneath the standard form, it would look something like this. It would be 2 times x squared, right, plus, technically then we would have a negative 3. Uh, excuse me, we would have 5x, oh boy, it's getting late, ladies and gentlemen, plus 5 times x, all right, and then we would have plus now a negative 3. So what I can do is I can just put that kind of in parentheses plus a negative 3. Okay? So that follows the standard form beautifully. So that actually 
probably is the answer. All right, but let's analyze the last choice. And the last choice we see that we have underneath the square root here. Okay, underneath the square root, there is a quadratic function in there. Okay, there is actually. This thing right here under the square root is a quadratic function. It is. But when you take the square root of a quadratic function, it's no longer a quadratic function. Okay, it's something very different. It's actually, this would actually be a square root function. Okay. Um, so just keep that in mind that even though we have a quadratic here, this is kind of subtle, that since it's under the square root, it is not a quadratic function. It's the square root of a quadratic function, which is no longer a quadratic function. So the answer to this is going to be 5x minus 3 plus 2x squared. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really hope you like this challenging problem. And on our site, you, when you take a look at the question section, we actually have problems differentiated based on their level of difficulty. The green mean normal and the red mean a little bit more challenging. We highly recommend that you go through all of the example problems, all of the questions, before you kind of move on to the next section. Right? The way the website is designed is to walk you step by step through the process and to make this really, really easy. We like to say learning has never been easier. We'll see you over there. For more practice and for more fun, go to glazersguide.com. And for more practice and for more fun, come on, go to glazersguide.com. <laughs> <laughs>